वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल मैथमेटिक्स पाठशाला दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सी एस आई आर यू जी सी नेट मैथमेटिकल साइंस जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन ऑफ ग्रुप थ्योरी लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन एन बी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर एंड एस एन बी दिमेट्रिक ग्रुप एंड डेल्टा इज डिफाइंड इन दिस वे देन हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू Uh, see the options here. The first option says that uh, the map f from S n cross S n to S n. S n cross S n means the external digit product between two groups S n and same group S n. Uh, given by f a b equal to a b is a group homomorphism. Second option says that delta is a subgroup of S n cross S n. Third option says that delta is a normal subgroup of S n cross S n. and fourth option says that delta is a normal subgroup of s n cross s n if n is a prime number <coughs> so let us now start and before starting uh, we just remind the definition of group homomorphism and the definition of external digit product of two groups from undergraduate times we are studying our group homomorphism see if g and g dash are two groups then any map between two groups f from g to g dash is said to be a group homomorphism if this condition holds f a b equal to f a a b this uh, see here a b means a composition b the composition in g and here f a f b means f a composition f b the composition in g dash so this is the group homomorphism definition and then also we just remind the definition of external digit product suppose g1 and g2 are two groups and g is the cartesian product of g1 cross g2 and if we define the composition in g in this way say x1 y1 and x2 y2 are two elements taken from g and define the composition in this way that x1 y1 composition x2 y2 is defined by just component wise composition that means x1 x2 is the first component and y1 y2 is the second component so very clear that this x1 and x2 are in um, g1 elements of g1 so this x1 x2 means x1 composition x2 and that composition is in g1 composition is in g1 and y1 y2 are elements of g2 so y1 y2 means y1 composition y2 which are in g2 so uh, it is uh, it can be easily shown that this composition forms a group so this g composition is a group and this group is said to be the external direct product of two groups so so let us now start to solve the solve this problem <coughs> first says that this f is a group homomorphism so to prove this let us first take two elements a b a comma b and c comma d from s n cross s n and to prove f is a group homomorphism we have to prove that f a b c d equal to f a b f c d like f a b equal to f a b <coughs> so let us start from f of a b c d that means a b composition c d <coughs> this is equal to just we have stated the def definition of external digit product is defined in just component wise composition so this will be f of a c comma b d so and c here f is defined in this way f a b equal to f a f a b equal to a b so this is this will be a c b d and to prove f is a group homomorphism we must reach in this position that f a b f c d f of a b composition f of c d so the just uh, uh, we are starting in back process 
so this will be f a b means our a b and f c d means our c d so to be f a group homomorphism we must have these two things should be same so see here if these are same actually this is if and only if this a c b d equal to a b c d this <coughs> this uh, a c b d equal to a b c d this a c b d equal to a b c d if and only if we must have because we are in group we must have c b equal to b c so this b and c should commute but in sn this will not be true in general just for an example if we take c equal to suppose we are in uh, suppose we are in S3 for n equal to 3 we are in S3 and just take C equal to an element of S3 or uh, 2 cycle 1 2 and take B equal to a uh, 2 cycle 1 3 and this is very easy to calculate that here CB will be our 1 2 1 3 this will be 1 3 2 just verify this and bc will be just 1 2 3 so they are not the same elements in s3 so in general this c and b will not commute and hence in general our this f is not a group homomorphism so option one is not correct now uh, go to option two this delta defined in this way this delta defined in this way that delta equal to g comma g such that g belongs to sn this delta is a subgroup of sn cross sn just uh, try to first try to prove that delta is a subgroup of sn so take two elements for option 2 take two elements g g g comma g and say h comma h because the elements of delta are of the form the first and second components are equal so if we uh, have to prove that delta is a subgroup then what we have to prove that take two elements from delta say a comma b and we have to prove that a b inverse belongs to delta so suppose this a is our g comma g and b is our h comma h so we have to prove that g comma g composition h comma h inverse should be should belongs to delta if this holds then this delta will form a subgroup of sn so let us now calculate this g comma g composition h comma h inverse and this is very clear the definition of external direct product that the element of h comma h inverse should be the component wise h inverse h inverse so then this will be component wise composition that means g h inverse g h inverse and see here the first and second component are equal and also g and h are members of sn so g h inverse also is a member of sn so this element belong to delta so delta is a subgroup of sn so option 2 is correct option 2 is correct now see option 3 delta is a normal subgroup of sn cross sn so let us now first try to prove that option and then we will see that it will hold or does not hold so to prove that delta is a subgroup just remind the definition of subgroup if h is a subgroup of g then we have to prove that if we take any element h belongs to g and h belongs to h then we have x h x inverse belongs to h this is the definition or you can say uh, test for normality if and only if condition for h to be a normal subgroup of g so for delta to be a normal subgroup of g let us now take two elements say x comma y belongs to g and say h comma h belongs to delta and what we have to prove we have to prove that our 
x h x inverse so x y comma h comma h comma uh, sorry composition <coughs> x comma y inverse should belongs to delta so let us now start from here and calculate this x comma y h comma h composition x y inverse so this is our x comma y composition h comma h and this x y inverse should be x inverse y inverse by the definition of external rate product and this is component wise composition so this will be x h x inverse comma y h y inverse so this element should belong to delta and by the definition of delta if this element belongs to delta then this first and second component should be equal so our x h x inverse should be equal to y h y inverse so in general this is not true for an example if we take n equal to 3 that means s3 just take x equal to say 2 cycle 1 2 h equal to say 2 cycle 2 3 and y equal to say 2 cycle 1 3 and just calculate this x h x inverse that, that is 1 2 composition 2 3 composition 1 3 and this is easy to check this composition of this 3 2 cycles this will be our 1 3 and also y h y inverse just verify that this will be our 1 2 so these are not equal in, in general so this element should not belong to delta for arbitrary x y and h so delta is not a normal subgroup in general so this option 3 is not correct delta may not be a normal subgroup of sn cross sn and see option 4 delta is a normal subgroup of sn cross sn if n is a prime number just for an just uh, when uh, we are giving an example we have taken n equal to 3 that means n is a prime number we have taken and then also delta is is not a normal subgroup of sn cross sn so option 4 is also not correct so option 2 is the only correct option and option 1 3 4 are the are not correct option Thanks for watching and keep watching also for the next videos.